color. Oh, this guy here, he can tell you a lot of it. I can tell you something about it, but he grew up in this store. Really? Well, not really, but well, my you grandparents lived just around the bend right there. Oh, okay. And I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been here a lot. RC and a move high? Uh, no, well, yeah, probably. But it's more, <laughs> what I remember the most is bringing eggs down here and trading them for Kool-Aid. Hey, girl. Kool-Aid? Trading eggs for Kool-Aid. Huh. Collection's tasty. Oh. So we, we, yeah, that's, and, and I had a lot of clothes. That'd be on the wall. I don't know. Made from what? Oh, it's a minute. Oh, okay. But, but don't get wrong. It's really... Yes. He's supposed to be... That's a really yes, good material. I was talking to him, hmm. and I thought... They were made with... Uh, yeah, of the lady on the left. They weren't just white. They were the designed... The election commission uh, was without a voting precinct for Dykes and the Kepler community. So our commissioners drove up and down these hollers and roads and we could find no place. We spoke with the Board of Education and uh, Mr. Hickson uh, said that the buildings were for sale, the church had another one. Anyway, we happen to think of this store. Everybody in this community knows about this store and we thought it was a fantastic place, a historical place, and what better place to have an election. So when we contacted uh, Ken Gibbons, he said, sound great. Mm -hmm. So it looks fantastic to us. Most people will not need directions, but Ken, you could give a hard address here. I oh, should what now? Give a, a, the address. Well, no, I'm just, uh, uh, okay, I'll have to try to get the address, but it's at the corner of Long's Bend Road and uh, Beer Road, okay. Highway 347. It's just past Kepler School, so find it Kepler is. School. And, okay. you know, I just thought we might have, have <clears throat> hard address, but this is precinct number 10, and it is um, Kepler slash Dykes uh, voting precinct, and we expect to have between 100 and 150 people vote here on Tuesday. Okay. Then, All right. This was the Walmart of the community. That's what I was going to ask you. It was. Because next door here, and Johnny Greer here, he knows a lot about it, but next door was where all the feed and seed, and I'm told that, that Phoebe, Miss Phoebe, um, actually dropped chickens down underneath the store building. They, and, you know, when people sold their chickens here, she would drop them down and then just capture them and put them on the truck and send them away. But... <laughs> they had farm supplies, fertilize, seed, uh, plow points, anything you wanted. And it used to be the post office for the community. Kepler used to be a post mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. And uh, regrettably, over time, somebody, they sold the little post office box thing here. But I thought Phoebe would be very proud to have this as a voting precinct. And I hope it works. And Cynthia and we I do are too. willing to do whatever it takes. And we have done a lot. Who was Phoebe? Well, her name was Phoebe Bradshaw. And down in Burham, there was another huge uh, grocery store and I guess a Walmart, if you will, for that community. But Ollie and Phoebe were related to one another. But mm -hmm. Phoebe lived just up the road. Mm -hmm. And she actually held court right back there. Uh, that's And she always had the pot-bellied stove right there. But all these things up through here were just full of candies and... The shelves were full of everything she's got. She had still has the numbers on the things for the potted meat and the mm -hmm. pork and beans and all. I guess she had a little thing of where everything was stored. I, I remember when I was a little kid, this was an old store then. It was uh -huh. it, it didn't look near as good as it does now, as a matter of fact, as far as the the condition of the building. Mm -hmm. But there was always people uh out on the front porch loafing and chewing tobacco and smoking and telling tales. Mm -hmm. There used to be a big uh, rattlesnake hide hanging right, right over that door back there. It was a timber timber rattler huh. that had been killed locally here somewhere and they'd, they had put the skin up and it was big and I always uh, really liked to look at that. I would walk down here with my pa, my, uh, my grandparents lived just around the bend here. We still own a little farm back there. 
Uh, their name was Ollie and Nellie Jones. They were my grandparents mm -hmm. on my mother's side. And uh, I would walk down here with Pa, and he would, uh, uh, we would come down here and honestly bring eggs and trade them for Kool-Aid, because when we'd come over here and stay, they didn't keep things like Kool-Aid and mm -hmm. sweet things. So so we'd, we'd, we'd do that. And I've had clothes and quilts and things that were made from the feed sacks. They used to come in decorator feed sacks that people used to make clothing. Yeah. Really good, really good material, good quality. And it was sort of a a down thing, I guess, to have feed sack clothing. <laughs> but it, it don't seem that way now. If you know what I mean. Yeah. But uh, a lot of kids, a lot of kids everywhere wore clothing made from feed sacks. Okay. Well, uh, so Mr. Givens, how did this store come to be in your property? Actually, several years ago, and I don't know, it's been 10, 12 years ago, maybe. Um, this property went up for sale, just as for sale sign got put out. And it came, it, one of the Skelton people, Mark Skelton's mom, I think, owned this. And she was just selling it, and they owned property around in the area. Mm -hmm. And the roof was actually coming off of it, the tin, and it was getting pretty decrepit. Not in here, but on this other side. And uh, I bought it. I just mm -hmm. paid what they asked for it and bought it, which wasn't a lot of money, really. But I immediately put a new roof on it to hold it mm -hmm. until I was in Nashville at that time. But I basically just said, let's get a new roof on it to hold it for another time. And then after that, I... Uh, uh, you know, when I got back, I went ahead and finished it out, and it is totally underpinned now, very structurally sound. It uh, it even has a bathroom in it. We'll show the apartment next door, but it's got a, a nice apartment next door, mm -hmm. and we had a field line and bathroom, and we had it totally rewired and spent did, a lot of money. Did on you it. have a history with this store too? Like, uh, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Say I. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I went to school at Kepler and regret so much, and will always regret so much that that school was closed. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a story for another time. But our teachers down there, me and a local guy named Tommy Parvin, who still lives up the road, we were very good in math. I don't do math now, but arithmetic I was pretty good at. <laughs> but but she would send us up here. Okay, she would tell us that she she was kind of a clean freak, a great lady, but we'd come up here and get clean eggs. We'd come up here and get aspirin. Uh, and Walk whatnot. from the store? And, or we walk from the school to Yeah, we can walk from school. She, we can walk up the creek back now. Imagine that now. I need yeah. a mile. Imagine. But we walk a half a mile because we made the best grades in the class in the arithmetic, you know. And uh, so, so I came up here then, but also as my children were growing up, Phoebe would be back here and she had a little white dog. You know, she'd always have a little white dog with her. And I would bring my kids up here, you know, to sit around the fire there, you know, mm -hmm. when she always had a fire. That's mm -hmm. the only heat she had in here. Mm -hmm. And so I go back and I, I love this, Cynthia and I just love this building and the community. I was told one time that, of course, Phoebe was single, never married, don't, guess, don't know that she ever had a boyfriend, but somebody <laughs> came in drinking some moonshine off of Beach Creek and kind of said something inappropriate to her, and she just grabs him up by the overhauls and throws him off the back porch. Huh. <laughs> well, good for her. I, that, that's, <laughs> Phoebe could have done that because she's a pretty tall, imposing type person. Uh, but so, it was it was the heart of the community, Kepler. Yeah. Well, Phoebe's store and Kepler School. Yeah. Like your money's us at Bellevue. That's oh, what yeah. That's yeah, boy, yeah. That's <laughs> the big bucks. Yeah, somebody told big the collection bucks. worker, they said, they said, you know, Ken Gibbs are going to vote up at Phoebe's. And she said, well, I bet you he got a lot of money. They, they gave me a hundred dollars for the year. Oh, boy. So is this going to be uh, every election now? Yes. It will be, uh, it's got to be. Uh, I don't know these guys get past. It's going to be August. These guys get past this real quick. The general elections in August, and I guess yeah. we got some candidates out there for for a, uh, November. Yeah. So, so it'll be every election, and they they lease it 
every election All right. cycle. So 2022 for sure, and then the, yeah, 2022 to be determined. Sure. Yeah. And I hope TBD. it'll be. I hope it'll go on right on. I do too. I, that, this is a good thing. If they're gonna put a ramp. This will be handicap accessible. They're gonna spend some money to get a handicap accessible. And they ramp. better get oh. a move on. That's one week yeah, from you got today. Like, that, that's yeah. not on me. <laughs> I told them. I said, I'll take care of the inside. You take care of the outside. Yeah. Yeah, we but I'll get a copy rails. of that picture. By yeah, I'll be there. You, I'll, that, I'll you be see there. my little red jalopy if it's in there. You, you just I, knock on the door. Thank you. For thank you. All right, thank you. I'll see you guys.